All right, let's talk about tuning. If you want to sound better on your instrument, the best way to do that, first of all, is to get your guitar in tune. Uh, one way to do that is with a tuner. You could use a tuner and tune all of your strings. But um, you can also tune the guitar to itself, which is what we're going to talk about right now. You first want to get your low string in tune, the low E. And you could either do that with a piano, playing the note E on that and matching the guitar to it, or you could use a tuner um, for the low E. Following that, once you get the low E in tune, you can tune the rest of the strings in order from that. And what you're going to do is, first of all, on the low sixth string, you're going to press down on the fifth fret. And then we're going to match that tone with open on the fifth string. So as you can hear right there, those two are the same pitch. So we don't have to change them at all. But let's say it was out a little bit. So I'm going to detune it just for our purposes right here. So if you were to hear it sound like this, it's just a little bit flat. And so you're going to have to turn it up a little bit. Let's check the next group of strings. So I'm now going to press the 5th fret on the 5th string and play open on the 4th. Now we have the opposite problem. Our 4th string is too high. It's sharp. So I'm going to take that 4th string and tune it down to get it in tune. So that's pretty close. The next group of strings, four and three, you're also going to press down on the fifth fret of the fourth string and match that to open on the third. That sounds pretty good. On the third string, you're actually going to press down on the fourth fret. So that's the one difference in all of these. We've got fourth fret. Should be the same as open on the second string. And finally, on string number two, you're going to go back to the fifth fret and match that to open on the first string. So it sounds pretty good. Let's double check one more time. We've got fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth, fourth, and finally fifth. All right, that sounds pretty good. Let's hear what a chord sounds like with all of those strings in tune. That sounds pretty good. Now let me give you an example of what that chord would sound like if we weren't in tune. So I'll take a couple of these strings, move them around a little bit. Let's play that same chord. So that's not nearly as good a sound, obviously. So if you got your guitar sound like this, it sounds disjointed, you're probably going to need to tune your guitar. You can hear the guitar just open up and resonate once you get all of those strings in tune. Good luck with your tuning. <laughs>